on UCF Sports Night, we get an all-access look at the softball team as head coach Renee Lures Gillespie and her squad face their rivals from Stetson. Plus highlights of baseball's opening series. All that and more next on UCF Sports Night. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV. What's up, Night fans? Welcome once again to UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We've got another big show for you and a busy week of UCF athletics. Our feature this week is on the softball team with head coach Renee Lures Gillespie. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first, like we said, it was a very busy week of sports here at UCF. The busiest all year, in fact, and it started with a big basketball game in the dungeon for the men's team as they face the Houston Cougars. A busy week began at the Dungeon with men's basketball looking to sweep the season series with Houston. Another tight one, neither team led by more than eight points, but the Knights got another stellar performance from Marcus Jordan, 18 points and eight rebounds. And he also locked down the nation's leading scorer, Aubrey Coleman, on defense, holding him without a field goal in the last six and a half minutes of the game. And UCF takes a close one, 68 to 65 at the arena. That same day in Miami, another huge win for UCF. This time it was women's golf with its first tournament victory since 2002 as they win the Hurricane Invitational by one stroke. Carolyn Pinnegar and Valentina Fontaine both landed in the top 10. Wednesday night, softball opened its home season against rival Stetson on a cold and windy night. Christina DeMello was the story here. She mowed down seven hatters in six innings of work. Meanwhile, on offense, Tiffany Lane continues to show power as she rips a long triple to right. That missed going over the wall by just inches. However, that was one of just two UCF hits on the evening as Stetson came up big with a late rally to defeat the Knights 7-1. Back to the arena on Thursday night for some women's hoops as the Knights took on Rice. This was another tight one as UCF had some critical scoreless droughts, but Danae Daniels kept UCF in it. She finished with 15 points and 10 boards. Marche White also stepped up with 15 points of her own, and Emma Cannon grabbed a dozen rebounds off the bench, but the Owls staged a late rally and held off the Knights in UCF Arena 65-59. Back to softball on Friday, day one of the UCF Invitational. The Knights facing undefeated South Carolina, and Ashley Cole had a brilliant day. She tosses a complete game five hitter, striking out seven, and toss in RBIs from Tiffany Lane and Hillary Barrow, and that adds up to a four to one victory for the Knights over the Gamecocks. Later that same night, UCF faced in-state rival UNF, and Deanna Rojas was huge in the circle. She goes four strong innings, allowing three runs on three hits, and picks up her first win of the season as UCF takes the 6-3 victory over the Ospreys. Over to baseball, and it was opening night for UCF on Friday against Savannah State at the baseball complex. More than 1,400 people saw Owen Dew get the season off to a great start on the mound as he struck out the side in the first inning of 2010. The junior tossed five scoreless frames in his debut and struck out six. Meanwhile, at the plate, more of the same from Shane Brown. He goes deep to left in his first at bat of the season, a solo shot in the bottom of the first, and that was pretty much it. The Knights go on to the 7-2 victory in the season opener. Meanwhile, on the road, men's tennis scored a big win against Florida Atlantic down in Boca Raton. UCF swept the doubles point against the Owls, and Johan Biegert scored the clinching point in singles play with a straight set victory. Back home for softball on a busy Saturday on campus with UCF taking on Villanova, and again it was Deanna Rojas taking center stage. A very strong outing, six and two thirds, allowing just five hits and striking out three. She also got some help from Tiffany Lane, who tallied her 17th career triple, just two shy of the Conference USA career record, and the Knights down the Wildcats five to two. Later that same day, UCF would not be as fortunate against Troy despite another great outing by Ashley Cole. Troy got some outstanding pitching of its own and held off the Knights one to nothing. Back to baseball for game two against Savannah State, and this was Chris Duffy's day. The senior had a career day, four for five at the plate, smashing two home runs to go with two doubles and knocking in seven RBIs, just one short of the school's single game record. Bo Taylor also went five for six at the dish, 
with a home run of his own and scored four runs. And Johnny Sedlock threw five solid innings on the mound as the Knights pounded out 19 hits en route to a 14-4 blowout win. That same night at the arena, women's basketball had a pivotal game with Houston and history for the Knights as Chelsea Wiley hit this free throw late in the first half to join the 1,000-point club at UCF. A great achievement for the juniors. Also, Emma Cannon posted a double-double, 13 points and 15 boards, and that adds up to a 78-66 win for the Knights in their final home game of 2010. Meanwhile, on the road, men's basketball got 14 points from Isaac Sosa off the bench, but it was not enough as Southern Miss rallied in the second half to down the Knights 68-58. Women's tennis was at home this Sunday for a matchup with conference rival Memphis. The Knights swept doubles and every singles match but one en route to a 6-1 victory over the Tigers. Meanwhile, their male counterparts fought hard but came up just short against number 33 Miami. Claudio Romano, Brock Saiki, and Blaze Schwartz scored singles wins for UCF. Back home, softball wrapped up its tournament against Florida A&M, and senior Hillary Barrow shows some pop here as she goes deep to left for her first home run of the season. But that would not be enough as Fam U gets the win 3-2. Drama on Sunday to wrap it up at the baseball complex as the Knights trailed Savannah State 6-5 with two down in the eighth, but Bo Taylor came to the rescue as he plants this delivery deep to right and gone. His second home run of the season, tying things at six apiece. Then two batters later, two on for pinch hitter Chris Talladay, who grounds this one up the middle for a hit. That scores Jonathan Griffin, and the Knights take the lead. They get one more in the eighth and shut down Savannah State in the ninth. Final score, eight to six. UCF completes the sweep to start the season. And of course, for more news scores and features from every UCF sport, log on anytime to UCFathletics.com, your online home for UCF sports. Coming up next on UCF Sports Night, we got an all-access behind-the-scenes pass with the UCF softball team and head coach Renee Lures Gillespie as the Knights took on their rivals from Stetson. Don't go away, UCF Sports Night returns in just a moment. Knight fans, season tickets for the 2010 football season are available now. More information at 407 UCF 1000 and at UCFAthletics.com. Greatness doesn't care how early it is or how late. Greatness doesn't care if anyone's watching. Greatness doesn't care about your clothes, your hair, or your music. The only thing greatness cares about is getting an opportunity. Where will you get yours? At UCF, we believe no dream is too big and no goal out of reach. On the fields, the courts, and in the classrooms, UCF stands for opportunity. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Renee Lures Gillespie is in her ninth season here at UCF as the head softball coach. She's the only head softball coach UCF has had since the program's inception back in 2001. She's got two conference championships under her belt, one from the Atlantic Sun Conference and one from Conference USA. And this year in 2010, she's looking to add a third ring to her collection. We got an all-access pass behind the scenes with UCF softball as Coach Gillespie got her team ready to play the Stetson Hatters in the home opener last Wednesday here at the UCF Softball Complex. Here now an all-access pass with the UCF softball team in our Sports Night Spotlight. <laughs> Five till five. Start at five thirty. Five twenty is our national anthem. Okay. We got about twenty minutes. Now Carlos told me you had a change up back in Miami Day. If Just I did, never, I never, never <laughs> lived on your eyes. Good, good pitch. If anything, as far as changes, um, as far as what not to throw, we're going to make sure she knows, okay? There you go! Jam them hard and then sit outside. Right on it! Right on it! 
Hey, Abby, she's got a real slow swing to number four. Okay. Make sure you go right at her, okay? But just, what I'm saying is slapping, just making sure that if you've got that in your mind, what you're going to do before you get up there, okay? Don't be trying to guess as the pitch is coming at you. Yeah. Be determined you got that slap and just hit it hard on the ground. Because you could be on on that. Shortstop's not playing you real tight. You'd be on. Let's go, six. Go. Beat it out. Safe. Good job. Come on, come on, stay aggressive. Hey, way to run that out, Mar. Good job. Let's go. Let's go, ladies. Got to make them work. There you go. Yes. Oh, great pitch, Teeny. Keep parking. He goes. No. Yeah. Good job. So way to work it, way to work it. Tiff, get it going, let's go. Next up, number one, shortstop, Tiff Lane. Runner goes and Lane rockets on the deep center, back at the fence, come on, 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 Tiff, on the base, on the base. And the Knights are on the board on an RBI it. triple. Over. Wait, what hit? Inches, baby. Inches. Hey, we can't get the low ones. Let's go for the high ones. There you go. She went. That's the way to get the lead out. Hey, how, how bad How bad you guys want this? We got one hit on that board right now. One hit. Now go after him. Let's go. There you go. Two, 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 two. Tyler's going to go aggressively for second, and she is in there. Way to go, 2MH. Good job. Way to go. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss, and the ball game is over. Hey, good job. You did a great job. Good job. Girls did a great job, Frank. I'm proud of it. Be proud of it. Well, Coach Gillespie and her team head up to Columbus, Georgia for a big tournament this coming weekend. Their next home date is the following weekend, March 5th through 7th. They've got a home tournament at the UCF Softball Complex. For more information, visit ucfathletics.com. Don't go away. Coming up next on UCF Sports Night, we sit down with head women's golf coach Courtney Trimble, fresh off her team's victory down in Miami, and with their home tournament right around the corner. Don't go away. We're back in a moment. Night fans, the softball team is getting ready to hit the diamond in 2010. Season tickets are available now. More information at 407-UCF-1000 and at UCFathletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night and joining me now for the first time after her first victory as the head coach of the UCF women's golf team is Courtney Trimble. Congratulations coach on your first victory with UCF. Thank you. Thanks. What a big week for you guys at the uh, Miami Hurricane Invitational down there. Um, it was a, it, you guys were third coming into the final round. You make that last charge in the final round. Tell me how great of an experience it was for the entire team to come out on top in that tournament. Well, it was incredible. We, we had no idea how we stood going through the last round, and all the scores came together, and we ended up winning by one. And the girls did a great job coming back. They didn't start off very well that last day, and they played until the last putt dropped, and it was an awesome, awesome day. Carolyn Penninger, one of your freshmen, was named Conference USA Golfer of the Week. Uh, a great achievement for her. Tell me how well she fit in with how things went down in Miami. Well, she had been playing really well. She won our qualifier, and she didn't play very well the first round. And we just kept telling her, "It's you're close. Keep uh, plugging away. And she shot 69 that last day, birdie the last hole, and played phenomenal. Only had one bogey the whole day. And I'm really, really proud of her. She's one of, of course, a couple of freshmen that you have on the team who are very young, who've come up big for you so far this year. They did in the fall. 
Looks like they're doing it in the spring. How much of a confidence builder is it for everybody to have a victory under your belt in the first tournament of the year? Well, I think it now they've tasted victory, so they'll want it again. So I'm excited about the, what the spring will bring because now we know what it feels like to win. We know we can do it, and I think they'll want to continue to win and be at the top. Now the scene shifts closer to home. You have the home tournament coming up, the UCF Challenge up at Red Tail. Uh, great golf course, great experience for everybody. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the tournament, the field, how things are going to roll out in those, those two days in the next couple weeks. Well, we've got 17 teams from all over the country. Most of the teams are ranked somewhere 30 to 60th in the country. So it's a good solid field, good competition for us, and I really look for us to to have a chance to win this tournament as well. I think it's a good uh, good timing on our part for the momentum of winning the tournament in Miami. So I'm really looking forward to a great week. Hopefully we'll have some good weather and, and a good week. And hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer around here. I know it's been pretty cold around here in Central Florida, but best of luck at the UCF Challenge. I know we'll be there uh, rooting Jan. And uh, like we said, congratulations on your first win here at UCF. Thank you. All right, Courtney Trimble, UCF Women's Golf. For more information on the team, including a look back at the Miami Hurricane Invitational, visit UCFAthletics.com. Coming up next on UCF Sports Night, we put a wrap on things. We've got our plays of the week and a look at another busy week ahead in UCF athletics. UCF Sports Night returns in a moment. Night fans, the 2010 baseball season is right around the corner. Season tickets are available now. More information at 407 UCF 1000 and at UCFAthletics.com. When JetBlue chose Orlando for its new flight training center, the presence of UCF strongly influenced their decision. The results? An investment of $160 million and 150 new jobs. UCF stands for opportunity. Welcome back. We're going to get to our plays of the week and a look at a busy week ahead in a moment. But first, here's a look at some news and notes. Earlier this season, we reported two UCF men's soccer players were trying out for the Puerto Rico under-21 national team. Well, Chris Feigenbaum and Waldi Jimenez have officially been named to the team and will represent Puerto Rico in the Central American and Caribbean games in July in Mayaguez. Feigenbaum and Jimenez will face off against the likes of Mexico, Honduras, and Colombia at the games, and both will return to the Knights for the fall of 2010. Time now for our Sports Night Plays of the Week. Here's play number three. Wow, she jammed there and it's popped and it's caught by Menendez. What a play by the freshman. Well, this first base job's not so bad as she dove and made a tremendous catch for the third out of the inning. Here's a look at play number two. Finally, here's play number one. And those are your Sports Night Plays of the Week. Lots of action on the road for UCF teams in the week ahead. Things get underway at home, though, on Wednesday with a big home match for women's tennis. They face USF at the tennis complex. First serve for doubles play is at 4 p.m. Softball is in action on the road. They have a midweek game in Jacksonville against UNF. That game is at 5 p.m. Also, baseball is on the road in Gainesville to face Florida. First pitch there is at 6.30. Finally, men's basketball is at home on Wednesday. They take on UAB at 7 p.m. You can see that game live on UCFAthletics.com and hear it on 7.40 the game. On Thursday, women's basketball is on the road in Dallas to face SMU. Tip-off is at 8 Eastern time, and you can see the action on UCFAthletics.com. Friday, the only home action is baseball, as they have a three-game set over the weekend with the Siena Saints at the baseball complex. First pitch for game one is at 6.30 Friday night, followed by Saturday at 4 and Sunday at 1. You can catch all the action at UCFAthletics.com. 
Meanwhile, on the road, softball begins play at the NFCA leadoff classic in Columbus, Georgia. The Knights have five games. First, they take on Georgia Tech at 1.30 p.m. and then Arkansas at 4 on Friday. Saturday, the Knights face Maryland at 4 and Nebraska at 6.30. And the Knights wrap up the tournament with Alabama at 12.30 on Sunday. You can catch the action on UCFAthletics.com. Back to Friday action. Men's tennis is in Jacksonville to face UNF. Doubles play gets underway there at 2 p.m. And the track and field team will be in Houston for the Conference USA Indoor Championships. That event goes all day Friday and Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, women's tennis competes on the road. They are in Boca Raton to face FAU. Action there takes place at 2 p.m. Women's basketball is also on the road. They are at Tulsa. Action there happens at 3 Eastern time, and it is live on UCFAthletics.com. And men's basketball has a date with Marshall up in Huntington, West Virginia. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and you can catch the game live at UCFAthletics.com or on 740 The Game. Sunday, men's tennis is back at home for a big in-state match with Florida A&M. Action at the tennis complex gets underway at 2 p.m. Also on Sunday, the men's golf team begins play at the John Haight Invitational up in Ponte Vedra Beach. That tournament goes Sunday through Tuesday. Also, women's golf begins its home tournament, the UCF Challenge. At Red Tail Golf Club up in Sorrento, that tournament goes all day Monday and Tuesday. And also on Tuesday, baseball has a home date with Duquesne. First pitch is at 4 p.m. and you can see it on UCFAthletics.com. And finally, men's basketball has its final home game Tuesday night against East Carolina at the Dungeon. And it is senior night at the arena. Tip-off is at 7 and you can see it on UCFAthletics.com or hear it on 740 The Game. And for all the latest news, scores, and features from every UCF sport, log on to UCFAthletics.com your 24-7 online home for UCF Sports. And of course, if you want to catch this edition again or you want to see any of our archived editions of UCF Sports Night, you can anytime you want online. All you've got to do is log on to UCF TV's website, which is at www.ucf.tv, or visit ucfathletics.com. Well, that's going to do it for us for this week here on UCF Sports Night. We'll catch you again next week. For all of us here at UCF Athletics and UCF TV, I'm Jeff Sharon saying thanks for watching and go Knights! Hey, this is LT from 1011 WJRR. You're listening to the best sounds of area music. UCF Athletics, Access Magazine, and WJRR are proud to support local artists. You can find more great artists by going online at www.wjrr.com and also accessmag.com. And by listening to Native Noise each and every Sunday at 11 o'clock. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF-TV.